Hey guys, it's Brandon here from the OnSong team. Now, as you know, OnSong is a powerful app that will allow you to bring your iPad on stage with you. Now, there are literally hundreds of other apps that will allow you to expand your musical possibilities. Whether it's guitar effects sequencers, synthesizers, or something completely new, the iPad is in the forefront of music technology. So what is MIDI? MIDI is a special way of communicating digitally between instruments. You may know it from this unique looking connector. You've probably seen it, but many musicians have never used it. But today, you can connect instruments not just with a MIDI cable, but using USB cables and even wirelessly over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth LE. Using MIDI can do great things on stage. For instance, you can connect a musical keyboard or a computer to record the notes you are playing, or you can connect your computer to all your instruments on stage to switch settings. But what if you could use your iPad as a MIDI controller or play a physical piano and have it use the iPad to play the sounds? The possibilities are endless. To find out how to do that, we first need to connect the iPad to a MIDI device. Let's take a look at three ways we can do that. If you have a device with MIDI ports, you will need to connect to it using MIDI cables and a MIDI adapter. There are a number of options on the market, including the iRig MIDI, a Line 6 MIDI mobilizer, and iConnectivity iConnect MIDI. To connect a keyboard to the adapter, connect the MIDI out port of the adapter to the MIDI in port of the keyboard. Next, you connect the MIDI out port to the keyboard to the MIDI in port on the adapter. This will allow the keyboard to send information to the adapter and the adapter to send MIDI to the keyboard if required. Next, connect the cable of the adapter to the dock connector of your iPad. If you are using a device with a lightning connector, you will need to use a lightning to 30 pin adapter. Each adapter has different capabilities, so check the specs on each before you purchase to find which one is right for you. One issue with MIDI cables is that it requires two cables if you need to send and receive MIDI and may also require additional power adapters for your keyboard and possibly the MIDI adapter. If your MIDI device supports it, you could connect to your iPad with one cable that you can also power your keyboard with if it's supported. Let's take a look. To connect your iPad to a MIDI keyboard using a USB cable, start by connecting the USB cable to the keyboard. This is a standard USB printer cable. Next, connect the USB cable to a USB camera connection adapter and connect it to your lightning or 30 pin connector on your iPad. That's all there is to it. What if you need to use your cable to charge your iPad or even to use the connector for something else like sending video? You can also send MIDI over Wi-Fi. Let's take a look at how to set that up. If you are using a Mac, open your application folder and navigate to the Utilities folder. Next, open the Audio MIDI Setup application. Open the Window menu and choose Show MIDI Window. Double click on the network to open the MIDI Network Setup screen. You can create sessions in the upper right hand corner, but normally you just want to use default session number one. Now open OnSong or another MIDI capable app on each iPad and have them appear in the directory list. Highlight devices and tap connect to connect them to the network session. Now you've connected your MIDI device to your iPad, you can use any MIDI enabled app like OnSong to take your music to another level. So I hope this video tutorial has helped you guys. Stay tuned for more video tutorials and product reviews. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at support at onsongapp.com. Thanks guys, see ya.